I can achieve a lot more than I think I can. I'm Liliana Spurgeon and I am graduating this May with a bachelor's in psychology and Spanish. I am a first generation Latina. My parents came from Juarez. My parents didn't speak English and actually they still don't. I didn't learn English until I was about seven, eight years old. My dad always told us like, I came to this country to physically wear myself out so you don't have to. I grew up with that like American dream of if you pursue education, you're going to succeed. I have had so many up and downs. Got my associates a little after high school. In 2005, I had a total knee replacement. After my knee replacement, I became addicted to opioids. It stopped my life. My life just became stagnant. If I didn't take my medication, I'd start getting sick. Fast forward to 2016, my husband got really ill. He died of uh, sepsis and he was 34. When your world just crumbles around you and you're like, I, what am I supposed to do? My pill addiction needed to stop in order for me to be able to move forward. There was this moment of clarity where I was like, I need to go to treatment. I need to do something. I can't be on like on this medication and at the same time trying to raise two boys into men. So I ended up going to rehab um, in 2016. It was 45 days. I decided to stay like an additional like 15, 20 days. Um, I get a call from my mom saying that my dad had a massive heart attack. Almost five months to the day from my husband passing away, my dad passed away. I felt like I didn't know what life was anymore. I, I just felt so disoriented. Like I didn't know where my feet were. I have another reason for me to like start using again. Or do I really make an effort of changing my life? UNM always felt like this big goal that was unachievable. I had a friend and she tells me, bring your computer, we are going to do your admissions for UNM. UNM always like really intimidated me. I didn't think I was smart enough. I qualified for Pell Grants. I got a scholarship from the National Latino Behavioral Health Association. I have honors, like I have a 3.8 GPA. I really do need to thank my partner, Evan. Like he has been the person I needed the most to know that I'm able to do this. My two boys, Gael, Rocco. I love those boys more than they will ever know. My late husband, my dad, I feel them all the time. And there's always like random little things that I know it's them telling me like, you can do this. It's been amazing in how I can accomplish things. It's a lot of pride. I picked up my cap and gown and I was just crying the way home, all the way home. Uh, every time I see that cap and gown hanging, I'm like, oh my God, I did this.